Hey, it's Jeff from Home Renovision here. In today's video, I'm going to be revealing to you what is my favorite toolbox? How do I store my tools? What's my shop look like? And I'm a renovator, so I don't even have a shop. My stuff is constantly mobile. So I'm gonna show you what my favorite toolbox is that I use on a daily basis and how I organize myself. I think it's the best option for DIYers as well because A, it's low cost, and B, you get to see all of your stuff all the time. And what I'm talking about is this, the pail organizer. Yeah, not earth shattering at all, but the truth of it is, is with a few pails that are a few bucks each, you can get organizers from 20 bucks up to 40, depending on the bells and whistles, right? But the idea here is you have somewhere with pockets on the outside and the inside, you can put all your tools in. In the pail itself, you can put buckets, materials, tapes, glues, adhesive, nails, all that kind of stuff you use on a regular basis associated to that trade. And then you can be job specific. All right, and one of the secrets to making this work is your pouch. Now this is a basic Cooney's pouch, you know, it's a great leather option. It's designed for finishers, right? It's not like 14 big bags, like you're gonna see some of these guys are walking around with 300 pounds worth of tools and materials. It's not necessary. You need something to hold your tape measure, your knife, a pencil, and of course, a marker. Gotta have one of these. And then you can pick your pouches. You can have different variations of screws and nails depending on the task. But having one pouch with those basic hand tools means that everything else that's in these is specific to the trade. And let me just show you what I mean. Over here, I got my plumbing kit. The pail, of course, has places to put all your tools on the outside and there's different layers. So you can put as much or as little as you like. For me, plumbing is really basic. I'm generally using my crimping tool because I'm using PEX plumbing nowadays. I've got my one and a half and two inch ABS pipe cutters, okay? If you've never seen these things in operation, it's simple, you throw it on, it has a sharp tooth, and you can cut your pipe. Now, I cut a really small piece because it's hard to get ABS pipe right now. <laughs> it's kind of a, a little crazy. All right, I also keep my adhesive in here. And the thing about pails that are really handy is if you are in the trade and you're going to jobs, at the end of the day, you come back home, you just take your three pails, you take them inside, and all of your adhesives and temperature sensitive materials are then taken out of the elements of the car, whether it's too hot or too cold. So you don't run into problems with the quality of your product down the road. It's really easy to manage that way. If you're just throwing everything in the back of your truck, you're running into trouble. And if you're a homeowner, it's nice to be able to say, oh, I'm gonna go work on the kitchen sink today. Boom, take your pail and go, right? It's all right here. You're not gonna be going up and down the stairs a hundred times trying to find every little gadget that you need, whether it's in the car or in the garage or in the basement or, it's all right here, okay? 20 bucks, it'll organize your life. You're gonna love it. Now, for men, we're not big in organization in a lot of cases, right? And we've all seen the videos, right? There's guys on the internet and they've got like a $30,000 to $50,000 trailer just pimped out. It looks like something from a TV show. That ain't normal, all right? Most people, they're, they're lucky if they even have $500 of tools to organize. So don't waste your money on storage. $20 and you can organize your life. This will save your time. You won't be running around looking for things. It's always right here. And if you take it from a plumbing bucket, put it back in a plumbing bucket. Whether it's on the inside or the outside, it doesn't matter. At least you know it's in the right bucket. All right, before I jump into my carpentry pail and show you some of my favorite tools, like this video if you like cheap organizational tricks like this. 20 bucks goes a long way. Don't forget to ask your questions in the video description below about other ideas about where do you put your power tools, all this other kind of stuff. Heck, any question you got, I'm happy to answer it. And you know what? I'm one of the only YouTubers that actually reads his own comments. So <laughs> feel free to jump in the comment section. Now let's get back at it. Over here, I've got my carpenter pail. It carries pretty much all of my stuff except my power tools, right? I've got kills, tapes, I've got a caulking gun. I got my, my square. I got my mineral wool saw. I got my little tool here for doing caulking work. All my finishing is in here. I've got my torpedo level, of course. I've got my, my blower over here. Here we go. This is for my compressor. So at the end of the day, I can hook this up and I can sweep the floor using air power instead of a broom. Absolutely amazing. I've got knives and blades and trim saws and caulking and hammers. I got all kinds of stuff. I've also got my rasp. Now this is for drywall. This is used to take a really sharp, ugly cut and clean it down so everything fits nice and perfect. Okay, it's a really valuable tool. I've also got, whoop, that's dirty. And that happens, but it's a four inch knife. I got some drywall tools, paintbrush, drywall saw. I even have a little bit of 
oil for my pneumatic tools. Right here is my hammer stapler. We use this for when I'm working on siding, all right? Great tool to have. And inside the pail, I got a little box of staples because they go together. I've also got all my screwdrivers, pry bar. This red bar is one of my favorite tools. It's seven bucks. Everybody should own one. You can pry and open just about anything. It solves all kinds of problems, okay? I've got snips and pliers and trims. Look at this. I even carry this with me. This is not a tool I use all the time, but it's a carpenter tool. And what this is, it's a great little gauge for stairs. Okay, you can set this up, adjust your thing, and you can make your angles and create templates so that you can cut and refinish stairs. That's great to have whenever I'm doing a stair job for refinishing or have creative carpentry measuring, I can use those and I can have a nice cheat. Look at this, I even have a pair of safety glasses. <laughs> Oh yeah, I only have safety glasses in the carpenter pail. And I only use them once in a while. I've been at this long enough to know when I need them and when I don't. Over here, I've got my electrical tools. There's a fish tape, okay? If you've never seen one of these used before, it's really simple. It's just a really hard wire on a band. And we can bend this and tape it to an electrical cable and pull it up through the house into the attic. And you just pull it through the house. We're going to do a video on that soon because I've got a project coming up showing you how to use a fish tape so that you can add an electrical plug to your house. Also got staples. Also got this tub of goo. This stuff is amazing. If you're ever fishing wire through conduit, you're gonna want a lubrication. All right, that's what this is for. And I've got a laser level in here. I've got some electrical boxes. Of course, I got my headlamp because electric, when you're doing electrical work, a lot of times the power's off. It's always good to have a flashlight. I got my screwdrivers and I got my trim snips, side cutters, Oh, here we go. These ones are awesome. They're nice and pointy. Really hard to work places. This is great for bomb diffusing. All right. <laughs> now, it's not a huge video today, guys. But everybody's been asking, so I thought I'd answer the question. How does Jeff organize himself? At the end of the day, the answer is this. I pretty much own two of everything. One in the shop and one in my pails. All right. And that's how it works. Now, if you're a homeowner and you're looking for a great way to organize your time, so that you don't spend all your day running around going, where's my tape measure? This is a great system, okay? You can have a pail for every trade that you're getting involved with and organize your tools accordingly. It doesn't matter if it's chock full, it doesn't need to be. You just need to have it separate, right? Okay, listen, if you enjoyed this idea and you're thinking about buying a pail, give this video a thumbs up. Remember, they come from 20 to $40, depending on which one. You can buy them on Amazon. We'll put the link in the video below, okay? You can check that out. Help support our channel, why not? There are worse things you can do in life than buy something from Amazon and help us out. And then when you get yourself organized, I want you to also put in the comment section what kind of project you're working on this year. We're still interested in getting that feedback. I got a lot of advice to give. Now listen, this is basically how I organize all my hand tools. So if you're watching a video about tool organization, it means you probably have a lot of tools. Or you're looking to buy a gift for somebody who has a lot of tools. Either way, I want to just bring in your attention to something. Here on Home Renovation, we've been making videos for, well, we're in our sixth year now. And we recently did a video about introducing our brand new Home Renovators Buyers Club. That's a mouthful, but here's the goal. The concept was this. We are now doing um, business with large companies that have national accounts. So all through Canada and US, we're supplying windows and exterior doors and siding, and we're giving you contractor pricing. And if the idea of that blows your mind, it should. Now, I want you to watch this video right here. We did a live show to explain how does the supply chain work? How do we get that deal? And why am I giving that deal to you? See you next time.